Your compost pile might be working, but honestly, it's not working hard enough. While you've been layering kitchen scraps and raking up those autumn leaves, there's a nitrogen-rich powerhouse just sitting in farm supply stores that could, well, triple your composting speed and really supercharge your soil fertility. This humble legume has been quietly building soil for centuries, yet, you know, most home gardeners completely overlook its incredible potential in their backyard composting systems. Alfalfa operates as nature's ultimate soil conditioner because of its unique biological makeup. This deep-rooted legume reaches down into subsoil layers that shallow-rooted plants just never access, mining nutrients from depths of 10 to 15 feet. When these harvested plants break down in your compost, they release a concentrated cocktail of minerals and nutrients that would otherwise, well, remain locked away from your garden plants. The real magic happens at the cellular level. Alfalfa contains exceptionally high levels of nitrogen, typically ranging from 2.5 to 4%, which honestly serves as rocket fuel for the beneficial microorganisms that drive decomposition. When you introduce alfalfa to your pile, these microbes explode into activity, generating the heat necessary to break down tough materials like woody stems, paper, and even small branches that would otherwise sit unchanged for months. Beyond nitrogen, alfalfa harbors a natural plant growth regulator called triacontinol. This fatty alcohol compound acts like a biological catalyst, enhancing photosynthesis efficiency and stimulating robust root development in plants that eventually grow in alfalfa-enriched soil. Unlike chemical fertilizers that provide just a temporary nutrient spike, triacontinol creates lasting improvements in plant vigor and stress resistance. Why hay brings structure and bulk to your pile? Alfalfa hay represents the whole plant in its dried form, complete with stems, leaves, and, you know, the occasional flower heads. This variety creates significant advantages for large-scale composting operations. The fibrous stems act as natural scaffolding within your pile, creating essential air channels that prevent anaerobic conditions from developing. Without adequate airflow, Compost piles quickly turn into slimy, foul-smelling messes that repel beneficial organisms. The structural benefits extend beyond simple aeration. Hay's varied particle sizes create a matrix that holds moisture without becoming waterlogged, maintaining the ideal 50-60% to 60 moisture content that decomposer organisms require. This balance prevents both the dusty dryness that halts decomposition and the soggy conditions that promote harmful bacteria. However, hay does present some challenges that gardeners must consider. Depending on harvest timing and field conditions, bales may contain weed seeds that survive the composting process if temperatures don't consistently reach 140 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Smart gardeners using hay either ensure their piles maintain proper hot composting temperatures or accept that some additional weeding may be necessary in exchange for superior compost structure. When incorporating alfalfa hay, you should treat it as a green material even though it might look dried out. You'll want to layer one part hay with about three parts brown materials, like shredded cardboard, dried leaves, or paper. For a standard three foot by three foot pile, you should distribute roughly half a bale throughout the layers, making sure it's spread evenly, rather than just dumping it all in one section. Pellets honestly represent alfalfa in its most refined form. Commercial processing removes the stems and compresses those nutrient-dense leaves into uniform, marble-sized pellets that are easy to store and measure out precisely. This process really concentrates the nitrogen content, while getting rid of most of the structural material, and the result is a product that dissolves pretty quickly when it's moistened. The speed advantage of pellets just can't be overstated. Within just a few hours of adding water, pellets expand and break apart, immediately releasing their nutrients into the surrounding compost matrix. This makes them ideal, honestly, for revitalizing stalled piles or providing emergency nitrogen boosts to cold compost systems that are struggling through those winter months. Storage convenience makes pellets particularly attractive for urban gardeners or those with limited space. A 50-pound bag of pellets occupies the same storage footprint as a small garbage can, but provides the nutritional equivalent of several hay bales. The consistent sizing also eliminates guesswork when calculating application rates. 
For optimal results with pellets, apply one cup per gallon of brown material in your pile. For larger operations, distribute approximately five pounds of pellets per cubic yard of compost, watering thoroughly after application to initiate the breakdown process. The pellets will expand to roughly three times their original volume once saturated. Smart gardeners don't limit alfalfa use to composting alone. Both hay and pellets can work directly in growing beds with impressive results. Alfalfa hay makes exceptional mulch when applied in 2 to 3 inch layers around established plants. As it decomposes, it continuously feeds the soil while suppressing weed germination and conserving soil moisture. So, the key to successful mulching with alfalfa hay really lies in proper placement. You want to keep the material at least 4 inches away from plant stems to prevent moisture accumulation that could encourage fungal diseases or, you know, pest problems. The hay gradually breaks down over the growing season so it'll need occasional refreshing but it provides a steady nutrition release. Pellets really shine when converted into liquid fertilizer through a simple steeping process. Just combine 1 cup of pellets with 5 gallons of water in a large bucket or barrel. Let the mixture sit for about 24 hours, stirring occasionally to break apart any remaining pellet fragments. The resulting alfalfa tea gives you a nutrient-rich drench that plants absorb immediately through their root systems. This liquid application proves especially beneficial for heavy feeders like tomatoes, peppers, roses, and fruit trees. You'll want to apply the diluted solution bi-weekly during active growing periods using roughly one gallon per large plant or two cups per square foot for smaller vegetables and flowers. You know, the most profound benefits of alfalfa supplementation really become apparent over multiple growing seasons, rather than just from immediate applications. With consistent use, alfalfa fundamentally transforms soil biology by feeding beneficial microorganisms. These little guys create lasting improvements in soil structure, water retention, and nutrient cycling. Gardeners who incorporate alfalfa on a regular basis often report dramatically improved soil tilth within two to three years. The earth that was once hard and compacted becomes loose and crumbly, which lets air and water penetrate easily, giving plant roots the space they need to expand naturally. This improved structure also means the soil can hold on to nutrients much better, so you don't need to apply fertilizers as frequently. The biological diversity that develops in soils enriched with alfalfa brings natural disease suppression and pest management benefits. Healthy soil ecosystems end up supporting populations of beneficial bacteria and fungi, which outcompete harmful pathogens, while also attracting predatory insects that help control pest populations naturally. The decision between hay and pellets ultimately depends on your specific gardening situation and priorities. You know, large suburban gardens with ample composting space really benefit most from hay's structural advantages and slow-release nutrition. The bulk helps maintain proper pile architecture while providing steady nutrient release as those tougher stems gradually decompose. Now, small space gardeners, urban composters, and those seeking precise control over nutrient inputs often prefer pellets' convenience and concentrated power. The measured application rates and rapid breakdown make pellets ideal for container composting, tumbler systems, and situations where quick results matter more than long-term soil structure. Many experienced gardeners discover that combining both forms provides optimal results. They use hay to establish proper pile structure and maintain airflow, then supplement with pellets whenever decomposition slows or additional nitrogen becomes necessary. This hybrid approach delivers both immediate and sustained benefits. Whether you choose the rustic effectiveness of hay or the modern convenience of pellets, adding alfalfa to your composting routine will revolutionize your soil's productivity and your plant's performance. The investment pays dividends that compound over time, creating increasingly fertile growing conditions that require less external inputs while producing more abundant harvests. Start with a small trial in one garden bed this season. Monitor the differences in plant vigor, soil texture, and overall garden health compared to untreated areas. 
the results will convince you that this time-tested soil amendment deserves a permanent place in your gardening arsenal. Don't forget to subscribe to Crop Corner for more game-changing gardening insights and share this knowledge with fellow gardeners who are ready to unlock their soil's true potential. Together, we're building a community of growers who understand that great gardens start with great soil.